this is not going to go in. man. I'm going to get kicked off of the stuff that I need to do. How is everybody? I know it's 4 a.m. on my time, so I don't know how late it is for everybody else on here or early. So I know if you're overseas, then you'd be in the morning already, way in the morning. Excuse me. Ew, what are you doing? What are you doing? Weird. I have to, uh, <laughs> yeah, I have to organize a bunch of stuff, which is going to be fun. I did find a really cool thing here on TikTok, actually, that led me to a very awesome um, like website that helps you if you have, like, concentration issues, which I don't have ADHD, but I do have bipolar disorder and that can cause trouble with concentration and finishing projects, uh, starting them and leaving them there, things like that. So found a really awesome website to basically make it idiot proof and, um, you know, be like, this is what you have to do to do that. <laughs> and that way I can just check it off and it's real simple. It's dope. <laughs> Hello, YouTubers. <laughs> I am fairly decent, relatively okay. Neato, stop. Um, doing an event this Saturday. It's free to get in. Um, it's for charity. It's wonderful. Um, event. Uh, it's I'm trying to remember. I put it up on my TikTok. I'm trying to remember the town in New York that it's at. Um, it's gonna be great. So I'll be there Saturday. If anybody wants to come and hang out, um, just check my TikTok and you'll see that there's um from my like uh, story today on TikTok. It says all that. And thank you, Victoria. I can't read the whole time. I know. Hello, gorgeous yourself. Ride a strange. Lovely. Um, it was a long, um, tiring, panic stricken. Um, I actually had gotten to the airport. Can you stop that? I had gotten to the airport and realized, well, sorry, I got to the airport, I had everything good, and then I started getting a little anxiety because I kept trying to find where the entrance to the parking lot was, and I could not find it because you have to stay in the long-term parking lot if you're not going to be 24 hours or less. So I'm like, all right, let me find the long term. So I finally find the entrance because they moved it. Like, oddly, they moved the entrance. So I find the entrance. I go in and I park, like, pretty close to after you get into the parking lot because I'm like, all right, let me just get out, get on a bus, go here, whatever. And um, I heard, as I turned off my car, I heard, like, a pop, 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 pop. I couldn't tell if it was, like, overheating a little or something. It didn't look like it was overheating on the on the uh, gauges. But, anyway, I pulled my baggage out, and I had my purse sitting there, and I had locked the doors because I was on the to lock the doors when I leave it overnight and stuff. And I locked the doors. Good girl. Ah, step over it. Good girl. Um, so, yeah, I had... Um, I, I had locked the doors, and then I was just leaning out of my car to hear the engine to see if it was just cooling off from, you know, rushing from the airport or 
what was going on. And as I leaned out, you know, my car's a, a 97, so it's just got one of those doors that you see there's, it's open, it's closed. So basically, as I like leaned out, I felt it like go by me and go to click. And I was like, yeah. and it's always, it's always what happens when you're like watching it in slow motion. So it didn't even like slam close, it just clicked. And like there's plenty of room to like wiggle it, but it was clicked. And I had a small panic attack in the middle of the parking lot. And then I was like, calm down, calm down. I went over to a little booth where you pick up, you know, the buses thinking they'd come over and I could ask them and realize they had a phone there. So I called and clearly this is something that's happened to people before. So they came out and they puffed it up and they stuck the thing in and they clicked it and uh, I'm in my car. But at that point, by the time I took the shuttle over to the airport, I the plane I was supposed to get on was basically boarding at that point. So, um, well, was boarded at that point. Well, I'm sure the doors were even closed. I did even try to check in to see if I could rush up there, but it was like, <laughs> you're not checking in. So anyway, then I had to sit for six hours in an airport, which was exhausting. I uh, had a couple of drinks thinking like, oh, that'll feel good. And it did. And then I left, went down, left security, whatever came out, used my pen outside for a little bit slept with my like sunglasses on my feet up on my luggage just like not even all the way asleep just like hearing things around me and letting my body just kind of rest and then uh went inside for a little bit longer walked around you know basically and eventually got my plane and then it was like another six hours to get there so it was just like the whole <laughs> beginning part to get there was rough um, it was great to be there at uh, the event in New Mexico. Everybody was really nice. Um, it was a lot of fun. There was like a lot of people that didn't get, have the privilege of getting conventions and stuff around them. So they were really like, they were really ecstatic about the fact that um, I have underwear on. Right? They're actually boxer briefs. They were ecstatic about the fact that I. Um, anyway, we forget. <laughs> oh, gosh. oh, that there was a convention um, where they lived. So that was really cool. Um, I don't know if you guys want to wait a second, but I'm going to try that because she's driving me nuts for a second here. I have to take her out to go potty. So why do you all of a sudden need to go potty? Come here. We were fine until like two seconds ago. You just went out a little bit ago. Being very, very mean. You know what your deal is. You drop some of your needs. Come on.
excuse me. Excuse me. Go. Move over. Oh my God, it's so rude. Okay, sorry. I'm back. Let's take a little squirt out to go potty. Let's fall down a bit. <clears throat> All right, so I actually got some cool stuff recently. Is those like gifts? I got this. Uh, lovely flower arrangement from my hetero life paint. I mean, not delicious like that, but you know, delicious. And um, I got this recently, Feel Your Best. It's not like a self-help book. It's actually a workbook on how to feel your best. So I like doing things that actually require me to do something about it, not just read. So I've been doing that. That's been really good. I have some other stuff that I want to get into, but I don't know. I want to do some more, um, like, uh, podcasting, vodcasting, whatever you call it. Um, I'm just not sure. I have a lot of different topics that I could do it on, but I'm not really sure what people would be interested in. I know most people would say The Crow, but I have a lot of different things about me other than that, um, even just as an actress. And then aside from that, all the other professions that I've had in life experience that I've gone through. So I don't know, just be kind of cool to see people like, you know, getting to know the different facets of me. So if you have any ideas, stop. If you have any ideas of, stop it. What you'd be interested in hearing about, learning about, talking about, discussing any of those things. Let me know. Those things. Pretty cute. I'm going to help with right now because I have a lot of hair, but. Yeah, it's weird. It's not working that good. Yeah, well, it looks weird. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Who's up, yo? Out of there. She's so bratty. Nice. Um, I have so many interests. Um, geez. It's like I have so many interests, it's hard to even narrow down my interests. Like, specific little categories, but I need to do that. I need to sit and just write a list of things that I would love to chat with you guys about and then do that. It's so nice to see my hair growing in like the natural blonde that it is. It's like a strawberry ash highlighted wand that I have going on. It looks cool in the sun, in the sunlight, like you can see all the colors. I dig it. I can do that. Hey, can you 
seriously, lay down. Maybe that's what I'll do when I get off here. I'll use my little to-do list to um, come up with ideas for podcasts. Um, I have so many different things that I could talk about and be in their interest in. I just really should like write a list so that <laughs> so that it's uh, easier to execute. I knew I had the word in there. Things I'm curious about. See, this would be perfect for it. Things I'm curious about. Hmm. All right, so I will write a list and I will check it twice <laughs> and then I'll figure out some podcast ideas. So I have time to do it, and I really would like to go more often than I have been, which is, has been my wall pretty much. Um, so yeah, that would be very cool. <laughs> you guys have any ideas of what you're curious about? I'm going to start writing mine. I know, I'm curious about everything. That's cool. Well, I'm glad that you have that to say because it's it feels nice to know that people have actual interest in knowing who I am as a person, not just you know, a person that they saw years ago on a screen as a little girl. So I know even the work that I've done, you know, in the in the recent past, um, is not stuff that you can really find. So it's um Really, the only way to see me in something that I've done is the crow because um, I did other stuff, but it's just not readily available. Like that. Um, but I love to work, so it really wasn't about the fame for me. It was more about just like doing things that I'm passionate about. Hello from the UK. What's up? Love me, the Brits. Found out I'm like 41% British. It's a lot. It's like a lot. <laughs> For like DNA, they're like, it's a lot. I'm like, yeah, I know. And <laughs> even cabbage fresh <press>, so. <laughs> Um, well, let me see more about me. Um, well, I'm a single mother, technically, um, even though my son is not a child child anymore. He's 19, he's going on 20, um, you know, making his way to age 14. No, he's just, um, I always made it really clear to him that I didn't want him to, like, rush into being an adult. Like, he should take it slowly and enjoy his life and, like, 
do things like kids do because I didn't do that when I was a kid. My mom was just a mess and I ended up being like her caretaker instead of like her being my caretaker and um, being able to like finish school and things like that. I had to move out because she was stealing from me. And um, it's just nice to know that I've given him a different life than that. Um, you know, I gave him what I knew I had needed my whole life and didn't get. So I knew <clears throat> instead of being taught by a parent, like how a parent, because of how they do it, and going, oh, that's really great. Um, which I did have some of that from my grandmother. Um, but then there was a lot that was just like, oh, this is how they parent. Do the opposite of that when you have kids. And, um, and I remember my mom saying um, when I was younger, you know, oh, you say that now because I would say I'd not, I would never say that to my, my child. Like she would say something to me. I'd say, I would never say, that's my child. I'm going to do things differently when I have a child. And she'd go, yeah, yeah, we'll see when you're there. You'll see when you're there what it's like. And, like, I remember Dustin being, like, a baby. And, like, that was really rough. But I was like, he's a baby. You know, like, what does he know? He just came into the world and was like, I'm here, you know. And then he went into his, like, terrible twos and horrible threes, which wasn't even that bad. He, like, was potty trained by the time he was two. I had him potty trained even through the night. Um, he was an amazing kid. And, uh, you know, I don't even know where I was going. Let me change it on that. I'll come back to it. But, um, oh, yeah. So, you know, he, he, he I, I just wanted him to, like, have all the things that I didn't have. And that was just being a child and like not being, not expected to be more or older than you are. Well, you know, the thing about it is Tiger Lily, I don't know really, but Tiger Lily, um, the thing about it is your parents can say that all they want, but like, you make the ultimate choice on how you're going to choose to parent your child. And, like, here's the thing I learned about parenting a child. Just like everything in the entire... Oh, hi, Shelly. Just like everything in the entire world, like, everything changes. So, like, you just have to, like, pay attention to those things and, like, you're allowed to change too. Like I've had situations with my son where like we got into an argument, something happened and I was maybe right even about what I was trying to get across, but the way I did it was just so not okay. Um, and so I would go to him and say, hey, um, that argument we had, that was not okay what I said or how I acted or the way I was behaving. Whatever. Um, I should have handled that better. I apologize for that. And I will work on being better about that. And I actually do work on being better about that. I hate when parents pick on physical characteristics. You're like, I came from you, no nuts. But anyway, um... But yeah... Oh, thank you. Um, I honestly, I can take that compliment. I, it's hard for me sometimes to take compliments, but um, I can take that compliment. I am a good mom. Um, I listen. You know, I, I remember when he was really little, I would always get down to his level and look him eye to eye because one of the things I always remembered and still remember hating when I was a little girl was when older people were higher up than me, looking down and like yelling at me or even talking down to me. And it just, it bothered me so much. And then I remember hearing, you know, different psychologists that would say stuff about, you know, how you need to talk to them down like on their level so you're not intimidating. I was like, duh. Um, and yeah, since he was able to walk every time, like I had to stop him and explain something or, or 
tell him not to do something, I would just kneel down, I'd suggest him. And it was funny because he has uh, ADHD, I guess, or bipolar disorder. I think it's bipolar, um, but it might be both. He also has autism, which I also apparently am on the spectrum as well, and so is his father. So that's a little wild. Um, but you can ask a question. Um, but yeah, that was my point. Um, um, but yeah, basically, just um, you know, I try to be like attentive to whatever is going on, too. Um, because that was, you know, just another thing about growing up that I hated was that, like, your needs didn't seem like they were needs at all when you were a kid, at least in my life. And that's just not true. Like, whatever you're wanting me as an adult, that importantness is just the same for a child who wants or needs something, you know, that, you know, so... Oh, yeah, I would 100% do a London Comic Con. Are you kidding? Yeah. The last time I was there, I was only there one time. It broke my heart. I was at the... Uh, um, I'll wait. And I I was just, like, took the ferry over there, and, like, I was there all the time on the island, and, like, was bummed I didn't get to see London at all. I didn't get to see any name there. I mean, I, I really love that area. I just want to like, I would love to live there, but yeah. Has somebody ever told me I sound like one of Marge Simpson's sisters? No, nope, I guess you're the first, and I don't take offense to it because honestly, it's not my fault. It's not like I. I mean, I did smoke for 25 years, but honestly, like, my voice has been like this since I was a child. Um, when I was two years old, I drowned in my grandfather's swimming pool, and I was underwater from, the paramedic said, anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, because I had changed colors. They had to resuscitate me, and because I was two years old, I actually was able to be resuscitated even after that amount of time under the water. Um, but I had, like, pneumonia, and, like, I was hooked up to all types of stuff and getting treatments and in the hospital for, like, two weeks afterwards. Um, so I 100% know, even without them, like, telling me, because I remember my voice prior to drowning, even though I was only two, and it was a lot squeakier and high-pitched and smooth. And then after I drowned, it became more raspy, so just is what it is. And I, like I said, I don't take offense. Some people might, like, oh, that's right. You know, like, like I said, even if it wasn't from the, uh, you know, drowning, maybe I would have gotten it from smoking. I don't know. But it was always like this. Even when I was like eight, nine years old, I remember my grandfather's uh, best friend saying, when you get older, your voice can be very sexy because it's uh, got that rasp to it. So, that's what I said. It's sexy. When I do my guided meditations, my voice is very calming. People love to listen to the sound and cadence of my voice. Schmackshy! Thank you, baby. Oh, did I? That's awesome. Yeah, I was doing undercuts even before the movie, believe it or not. Um, I was always kind of a, I don't know, like, rule breaker. Um, yeah, I like to do Janis Joplin and stuff like that. Um, uh, but, yeah, I was always like a rule breaker. I always wore weird stuff. Like, I would wear suspenders or I would wear... Like, um, I would wear, like, jean shorts with, um, really hot pink or hot red 
colored tights under it. Um, just, why was this? I dressed weird. <sighs> That's awesome. I wish I had like a, I don't know, middle name or first name that actually meant something, but I guess my stage name does because my dad um, and I kind of came up with it together. You did to what? I don't know what that was about because I said so many stupid things. Yes, Rochelle is my stage name. Um, it's my middle name technically also. So, so here's the story, if anybody's interested. Here's a little story that I'm gonna tell you. Um, so, when I was born, my father named me my first name, my mother named me my second name, my middle name. Um, and then obviously I had my father's last name when I was a kid. Um, but I just hated my first name. Um, no, I'll, I'll tell you, um, it's Andrea, um, but I hated it. Like, I can't tell you how much I hated it. So, for a while, people called me Andrea for, like, I mean, a really small amount of time. Like, I remember being really little and being called Andrea, but then it was, like, I, I would say just about a year old, maybe two years old, I started being called Dre and Drea. So, like, those were my nicknames from my family, and it drove my father nuts because my mother and my father had um, split up. And so my father took it as like a disrespect to the name he picked out for me. And he wanted me to be called Andrea. And I was being called Dre Andrea because I really don't like my name. Um, and I even had people in school start calling me Angie which I was like, I'm not an Angela, like, wouldn't it be Andy, but like, whatever, I don't care. Um, I was never in, in any schools long enough for it to matter. Um, I went to like eight schools, no, 12 schools in eight years. Um, I guess technically 13 and nine, but I didn't, get a long story. Um, getting off the point, um, what was the point? Um, Oh yeah, my name. Um, so anyway, because of that, my dad decided he didn't like that my mother was using my nickname for my real name that he had picked out for me. So he decided to tell my family on my father's side to start calling me a nickname of my middle name, which is Shelly, of course. Um, so <laughs> that's what they would call me. So if I was at my dad's house or my grandfather and grandmother's house on my dad's side, I expected to be called Shelly all the time. Um, and if I was with my mom's family and, you know, I was with people on that side, generally I was called Dre or Dre Dre um, or Drea. And then I guess my grandfather was the only one who called me Joy Joy. Um, and then the funny thing is my mother, she has a really weird name. Her name is Maun, M-A-U-N. And um, she was supposed to be a Maureen, but they changed it. They decided like, now we're gonna do something different. And they had, I guess they had originally wanted the name Maureen. They originally wanted the name Mon, but my grandmother kind of chickened out a little bit at first and put Maureen on the birth certificate. And then, like, basically, when they got home, they were like, no. The funny thing is, there's one of my mother's uncles, Uncle Bill, my great Uncle Bill, um, who still calls her Maureen even though it was pretty much changed the day after she was born. 
to Mon and never went back. He just, that's the name he likes, and that's what he calls her. And he's the only one that calls her that, so it's kind of a special thing. Now, funny enough, without it being on purpose, my Uncle Mike, who used to call me Dre quite a bit when I was younger, I guess kind of got back into the habit of my full name and would always, like when he calls me, he still calls me Andrea. And he is the only uncle on my mom's side that calls me by my first name. So it's funny, my mom has an uncle and my, my grandmother is one of five. So one of my mother's, um, you know, aunts or uncles, basically of the four, um, Uncle Bill calls her Mon. And then out of my aunts and uncles, which I have four because my mom's one of five, um, I have an Uncle Mike that calls me Andrea. And he's the only person that calls me that now. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. Recording me saying what? You were recording me saying what? <laughs> what were you recording me saying? It's so funny. That's cool. I really kind of wish my mother gave me her middle name. Like, I wish I had had Rochelle as my first name and then, like, Mon as my second. Um, but my father was the one that came up with the idea for my stage name. He said, so do you want a stage name? And this was back in the 90s. So like you could hide yourself. And if you had a stage name, it wasn't as easy to find you. So I was like, yeah, let's do that. And uh, he was like, I was thinking about Rochelle Davis. And I knew my middle name was Rochelle. So I was like, yeah, I get Rochelle part, but by the Davis. <laughs> and I, you know, I was like 11 years old, 10 years old. And um, my dad goes, that's my middle name. And I was like, oh. And I didn't realize he had such a cool middle name for like a last name. So I was like, yeah, Rochelle Davis. And he goes, yeah. And then you have like Betty Davis and Gina Davis. And like he started going on about like all the famous Davis. And I was like, all right, fair enough. That's a good pick. So that's how that happened. <laughs> That's funny. Going to swap names. <laughs> oh my god. Good luck in surgery. What kind of surgery are you having if you don't want me asking? If you don't want to say it, it's fine. I just, my mother was a CCRN, so I'm always like a little like. Fred Astaire, nice. <clears throat> I would love to be called Meow. Meow. <gasps> oh, man. I'm so sorry. Kidney stones are terrible. And if they have to remove a mass, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Gretchen, cool name. Mm -hmm. You guys are awesome. Not really getting anybody. Oh, there's some people watching. It's just nobody's really saying anything on here. That's all right. Love you too, you too. Moving, you know, that's what's up. Yeah, there's some really great names. Um, I think my son's name is pretty up there. Um, his name is Destin D E S T I N. And 
no, it's not Justin or Dustin. It's Destiny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I like I like his name too. It took me the entire ten months of pregnancy to decide on it, and I still wouldn't even say it was his name until I met him and saw him in person because I really didn't know what he would look like. Honestly, I mean, me and my ex husband look very, very opposite. I'm gonna give that a shot. Melius, 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 Melias. I don't know which one. Melius, Melias, Melias. Hmm. I'm interested now. Nice. Raven's a great middle name. <laughs> oh, I hear the rain, I hear the rain. I hear the rain, I hear the rain. I have, I don't really spark it up as much as like let the battery light it up. <laughs> it just concentrates. I'm such a snob now about like my stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, Everyone smile, but <coughs> glue on nails. <coughs> Especially since I'm single right now. Oh yeah. But they come right off, you know, they're not like acrylics. But I like to put them on when I have not much else to do. It makes me feel a little dirty. And my puppy loves it because when I scratch her butt. She loves that. Get in my bed on Sunday. So exciting. Sage, I love that. George Melias. I like that one. Well, at least you have a good birthday for your baby. Uh, 
time is 5 a.m. where I'm at. First, it was inside the home. <laughs> now it's like backwards. I can't get my crap together here, guys. <laughs> I'm a mess. That's what I'm trying to say. Just a mess. Stay wild, moonshine. Blankish. I am going to see the new Barbie movie. Probably not out in the theater, but I'll wait for it to just be around. But yeah, I think it looks fun. I'm actually watching the thing on HBO that's... um. Like, um, Barbie Dream House Challenge. It's awesome. I love Barbie. I mean, I know the whole thing about their not body positive, you know, things. But, like, sadly, that's what we grew up with. And, like, you know, we make do with what we have. And they were awesome. I love Barbie back then. I still do. I have some. So. Nice. That's great. Um, all right, so bingo. This is one, two, three, four, five. So there's five across. Oh, I should have four. Damn it. Hold on. Yeah, I did hear about that, that there was a shortage of pink paint. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah, I did hear about that.
this page up for that. It's going to have to be a little mess up there. Maybe I'll have to lay down and fix it. I gotta eat that. I'm making a bingo sheet like this so that I can put it in my book, which I see more regularly because it's like trying to do this every week, so it's like an example. And I'm going to fill it out with either the ones I have or ones that work for me. You hear her snoring? She's so snorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some old man snores. Is that is more expensive to have a music? Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. Sometimes people, when they want to mix the colors, they're not really good at mixing it to get the kind of pink they want. Because there's dark pink and light pink and powder pink and you know, every there's so many different types of pink that it's, you know, you have to get the right kind of pink if you're putting the um, red in there. And there's some pinks that have a little tinge of purple, like some of those fuchsia colors. I'm like, mm -hmm. so just saying. Uh, let's see. Thank <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I like that you're doing an interesting nursery theme. I didn't really do much to Dustin's room because we lived in like an apartment at the time and I didn't really like you to mess with the walls. I mean, you could, but you definitely had to paint them back before you moved. So like we kind of opted against it because we really didn't want to stay on that long. And then we didn't want to have to paint all the rooms back. Like, he had a cool nursery as far as like he had all the stuff he needed. I just I didn't get to do any of the painting and stuff. I think I put up like one of those hanging sticker things that don't really mess up the walls you can take down um, to decorate a little bit. Other than that, all right, let's see. Let's see. Let's go five, so we got to work for it. Work for it. Work for it. Work for it. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Is like you end up, I mean, it's you know, it's really cool when you have them because 
don't really know what's coming and you have a lot of expectations or thoughts at least of what you think may or may not be what your child's like. And then like, funny enough, they come out perfect for you, but yet not really exactly what you always expect. I mean, I don't know. I guess some people do, but like, I'll give you an example. Um, my son is, you know, his father is Guatemalan, so he has black hair, black eyes, dark skin. Um, he's still short, like me, he's like five seven by me. Um, but <clears throat> like, <laughs> he had a very soft, feminine side. His father, and even though like the machismo and the respect and all that stuff, whatever. He just really had a nice, soft, kind of, like, feminine side to him that was, you know, a lot of guys didn't have that kind of um, side to them. And then, you know, Destiny kind of came out the same way. But the other thing was we, like, when we got married, everybody put uh, little brown babies, little brown babies. Because um, that's what we thought we were going to have, was little brown babies. Oh, um, and we did not. We had one little very pale baby <laughs> named Dustin. So, you know, it's a testament to uh, what we think we know about our children, you know, when, when we haven't met them yet. And of course, we know certain things because they're in our bodies, but um, there are some things that we don't see. Hello from Spain. I love my dog, huh? Thank you. She's a real sweet baby. Um, and it's the time is here is 507. So let's see what we got here. I don't do baths, so I'll put take a relaxing shower. That's right, as long as it's not healthy. Morning. Wait, I don't know what that one. I don't know what your letters. I tried to find it out. There is a pretty foul thing that's in the jail, which sucks. I mean, not that I wouldn't like people in jail, it's just that's the only way you can treat, treat yourself. <laughs> Isn't it? She is no, no shame, no shame in her game. Yeah, I can. I, I do autographs like through the mail. You pay for them on the cash app with PayPal, and then I send them off to you. I actually, have some going off. 
this week. I had somebody that I sent hers out and it didn't get to her. I'm so annoyed by that. But I have a couple of women this week. Thank you. Thank you. All natural now. Let me just go ahead and set the shade of the sides because it's so thick. <clears throat> Not Rachel, but close and high. Um, it's Rochelle, but Yeah, I hear that. Thank you for coming on, guys. I'm going to sign off here because I'm just sitting here making this list. But uh, I love you guys. And uh, I'll see you here soon. I want some podcast ideas. Have a good day. Namaste. Love, love, love. I must say, everybody.